Hello everyone. I am Paramita. I am a certified Salesforce consultant. I believe sharing knowledge increases knowledge. I like to talk about different topics on marketing cloud, lightning web component development, and I am exploring at the moment different areas of Salesforce ecosystem. I love to learn new new things in technology and also I love to share my knowledge, whatever I learn, because as I said that sharing knowledge increases knowledge and I believe it. Now today in this video, I am going to share with you how to create data extension in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Data is really, really important nowadays, you know, data is at the heart of Marketing Cloud, not only Marketing Cloud, I will say the whole Salesforce ecosystem. Whatever AI tools nowadays we are using, Einstein and other tools, they all basically work with the data. Okay, they analyze the data and from there they understand the customer's behavior and then they give us the recommendations. So it's really, really important to understand the data in Marketing Cloud or in any Salesforce product. Now today we are going to create a data extension in Marketing Cloud in practical. So I am here in my Marketing Cloud org. I am going to click on email studio and then email. Now I want to mention that you can also create data extension from Contact Builder. Okay, uh, the UI will be a little different but uh, Today we are going to use the email studio. That's the thing I prefer most. Now here on the subscriber tab, you can see a lot of options are there. We will click on data extensions here. Okay, so click on data extensions. Now here you can create your folder like whatever data extension you are going to create. You can create your own folder. I have already created one folder called parameter test. So I'm going there and in this folder I am going to create a new data extension. Now on the top right corner you can see create button. Now once you click on the create button you will get three options here. Standard data extension, filtered data extension and a random data extension okay now these are three types of data actions extensions like standard data extension means which we are going to do now just create a data extension filter data extension means you will create this data extension by filtering data uh, I am going to discuss that probably in my next video what is data filter uh, how can you filter data and all those stuff that time I'll show you how to create uh, filter data extension and a random data extension means uh, you will create a random data extension from other data extension sources okay so that also I'll create a separate video now today in this video we are going to create the standard data extension okay so I selected standard data extension click ok create method you can create a new data extension or you can create from an existing data extension or you can create from a template like you create template for uh, email you can create template for data extension also to create in future then you don't have to write the field name and all most of the things will be done there but you can make little bit adjustments okay so it will save you time so in that way data extension also you can create a template or you can create a data extension from the existing data extension but today I'm going to create a new one so I'll select create from new now give it a name <coughs> I'll give just put my first DB now after giving a name external key now if you uh, in your company if they follow certain you know conventional external key uh, convention then you can follow that one and you can give it a name otherwise just leave it Salesforce will automatically 
put uh, create an external key for you okay so generally this external key is used like when we do some programming with api and stuff that time we use this external key so at this moment i am not putting anything don't worry about that and the description always always uh, it's it's a good practice to put some description i do that like when you are working on a project when you are creating a data extension what type of data it's containing okay uh, so those relevant information please put in the description section okay now i am leaving it empty because i am just creating it for demonstration now location so in which folder this data extension going to be see the location is already here because i am creating that uh, data extension in the folder where i wanted it to be in case if you want to change it you can click on change and you can browse and you can select your location okay for me it's okay now then there is another option you can see is sendable that's really really important now one data extension can be sendable or non-sendable remember if you want to use the data extension for as a source to send your email or if you want it to be uh, used in any journey or anything from where you know you are going to send the email so that must be sendable if it's not sendable data extension you cannot use that for sending any email or message or anything okay so if you want to use this data extension for sending message email anything then it has to be is sendable when it's it's sendable definitely it will have contact information like uh, like email id or mobile number or those stuff so i will make it is sendable once you make it is sendable then you will get this option is testable now if you don't click it here now is testable then you will not be able to use this data extension for any testing purpose okay so i will click it is testable because when you um, it depends on you what you want to be but uh, like for which purpose you are going to use this data extension but uh, I am going to click both of this is sendable and is testable. So when you are creating the data extension, please uh, remember these things, what you want to make this data extension, whether you want to make it sendable or non-sendable, okay? Then go next. Now, reten retention setting, okay? So this retention setting is basically of here, I will make it on to show you so what it's all about it's this is also a very important topic especially if you are taking preparation for uh, marketing cloud email certification you will get uh, like often you get question from here retention policy is about what see there are three options individual records all records and data extension all records individual records means within the data extension whatever records are there the retention period about that records that means how long you want to you want to keep and record in the data extension for the six months or one month one year you can set it here the individual record that means any record which will like pass six months or something whatever you will mention here it will be disappeared after that tenure only the record not the whole data extension but if you select this all records and data extension then after a certain period mentioned by you here in the below in, in the below you can see that records and also the whole data extensions will be deleted and if you select this all records then not the individual records all records will be deleted but the data extension will not be deleted it will be emptied but it will be there so like this there are three options you can select any option whatever you like okay so that will keep your data extension <coughs> excuse me nice and clean and it will not take unnecessary memory in the marketing cloud okay excuse me i got some cold and cough so this is all about retention and you can set the period 
what period you want to do days months whatever weeks okay so you can do it here at this moment I'm not doing anything I'll just do it off because this is just for demo purpose then I'll go to next now here <coughs> basically we are going to create the data extension a data extension basically just think about if you know Excel it's like an Excel table or if you know SQL so this is just like that basically it's like a relational database okay so like we have different field column in SQL or in the Excel sheet here also you have to create your field or column whatever you say now suppose suppose I am creating this data extension for customers so I write cast ID now there are different uh, data type if you have done any type of programming before SQL or Java or anything you know what is data type I will explain everything here even if you don't know it's little different than other programming so like text here can be used for like text and also for numbers number is for number date is for date boolean is for true or false like suppose subscript email opted out true or false okay so in that case in that case we can use the data type boolean email address is a data type specially used for email only phone can be used for phone or we can use text also for phone because phone is also like number decimal for decimal number so cast id will use text length 50 by default but if you think your id will not be 50 50 numbers you know you can you can take less also now i'm just leaving it as it is so cast id then first So first name last name now first name I would like to do hundred because some people may have big name last name also I will do hundred then email email I'll take email address email address by default it will come 254 because email address is big then city I write country country text okay then mm -hmm. now one more thing <coughs> I want to explain to you when you are creating the data extension now in this video I will also uh, show you like how to import data okay oh no I will make a different video for that <coughs> Okay, so email, country, and then what else? Uh, I'll also take another email opted. So email opted, yes or no? Okay, so I will take a boolean. And then I will also take date created so date created I'll do it date type okay <coughs> all done I will not take anything else at the moment okay so how many fields I took Cust customer ID first name last name 
email country email opted date created two, three four five six seven so seven field i have created here now you can see there are some more options primary key nullable default value now what is primary key if you know sql i don't have to explain you know primary key but maybe some of you are new to the marketing cloud so just learning so primary key is like a key which must be unique and basically it identifies the unique rows in the table okay so suppose you have to choose some field from here which is unique now here email can be unique or customer ID now sometimes what happens suppose in the same family everyone is using same email their first name last name is different but the email is same so in that case email will will not be unique that's a catch but the customer ID or any type of ID in the table like normally they are unique so it's better to find this type of field instead of using email ID okay so <coughs> here we can use the customer ID as the primary key now when you are creating the data extension it's not necessary that you have to choose a primary key it's up to you you can create a data extension without creating any primary key also okay it doesn't matter but there will be some problem when you will import the data now when i will discuss how to import data in data extension that time i will discuss that in more uh, uh, elaborately uh, there will be three types of import for two types you must have a primary key in data extension otherwise it will not be imported okay now I will not tell more about that now otherwise it will be a very big video I will make another video where I am going to show you how to import data in data extension there I will discuss about those things now here I will I will uh, I will take customer ID as the primary key now one more thing about primary key it will not be nullable automatically when you create uh, when it's a primary key it must be unique and it must not be not null that means it should not be empty now <coughs> what is the default uh, nullable thing yeah nullable means when you are clicking nullable like this field I'll, I will click nullable that means sometimes maybe it's not your fault for some reason it's a client's data you don't know what happened there maybe some field they will not have value that is allowed that also will be imported in this data extension but when some field we leave it not nullable that means that field is required there must be some value if there is no value that record will not be imported in the data extension okay so like that now the what is default value suppose sometimes we made some field like uh, not nullable like this first name suppose I unticked it so now it's required it's not nullable that means there must be some value now if in case when you are importing in case if this field doesn't have value in your original data source from where you are importing now it will not take that record basically to leave that record to so to protect that situation we can mention a default value here suppose I'll just write valued customer okay so that means if some record comes like this which doesn't have this first name instead of leaving the, that record it will put valued customer this value in that first name field and it will be coming in the data extension okay 
we will avoid the situation that some data will not be imported in the data extension so this is a very like a vital point you, you need to understand sometimes we may need to do these types of things depending on the project towards the requirement and etc okay now i will take it nullable okay so all are nullable but uh, not the customer id because that's my primary key so automatically uh, i cannot make it not nullable okay now this one i don't need this field so i will delete it just click on delete yeah that's all i want in my data extension now at the bottom see there is something send relationship relates to sub subscriber on subscriber key so send relationship we have to select a field here which field will relate to subscriber key <coughs> now normally for that also we have to select a key like primary key which will be unique and not nullable like this okay because otherwise there will be a chaos so cast id definitely i will select cast id here to relate to subscriber key now there is an important question like salesforce as a best practice that not to use email address to relate to subscriber key some people think why not email address because this is unique so again i will tell you that the reason one of the reason is that already i have discussed sometimes maybe three four people can use same email address so in that case email address will not be unique and again there is another problem also like subscriber key like when we <coughs> when we like connect different clouds like marketing cloud service cloud mobile uh, so like 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 this is email studio we are working now mobile studio is there as well in marketing cloud itself so their mobile number will be the unique number so and here email address so you know when we will combine the data there will be a chaos so instead of using email address we should use this types of thing like customer id like which will be not only customer ID, any type of other ID, like which is unique, which is really unique and not nullable. Sometimes email address can be empty also. Okay. Okay, so yeah, then create. Yeah, so my first data extension my data extension is created okay yeah see all the fields are here data type length now here one thing i want to mention the length like total length of all the fields shouldn't exist exceeds like 4000 okay the total so that also can be a question in uh, um, email specialist certification okay then i will uh, finish this video here in my next video <coughs> i'm going to show you how can you import uh, data in data extension in different ways thank you so much for watching my video if you like please like and subscribe for getting the update regularly thanks